What's up everybody? We are motoring out to Delta Shoal because there is no wind, but it is a beautiful day. It is sunny and the water should be really nice and we should have a good opportunity to either spear some fish or maybe catch some lobster again because we kind of failed at that the last time. Yeah, and it's actually over 80 degrees in the water. I think that's the first time we've seen that while we've been out here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, warm water, warm day, nice and sunny. That's why I'm wearing this to keep myself from frying. That's why I'm so sunscreeny. Rand Randy's got white sunscreen all over <laughs> her, her body. We're good to go. It's gonna be a good day. This is our boat now. Oh my god. <laughs> Aside from this being like a fun or spearfishing trip, uh, we also need to clean the bottom. So we haven't we haven't cleaned the bottom in like three months, I think. Since we launched. Since we launched. We yeah. haven't cleaned the bottom. So, so really testing that new paint. Yeah. And it looks like there's a decent amount of growth on the back portion of the hull. Looks like it's soft growth, but you know. Mainly the rudder for some reason. Yeah. I don't know if there's a reason for that. I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, but still the goal for today is to get a lobster, <laughs> a legal size. The so. only place we've seen lobster so far woo, was on Sombrero Reef where it's protected. So they're like, haha, I'm right here. They're around. Yeah. So somewhere. We'll get one. We actually had a viewer send us this sunscreen. This is what I'm wearing, and it's a reef-friendly sunscreen that she makes herself. Um, I believe she's based in Australia or New Zealand, but I'm pretty sure it's Australia. And it's actually in a bunch of shops down there in like the zero waste store for Australia. So it was really cool for us to be able to get this from her and use it and it was really great stuff. I also know that when we put out that video about biodegradable soap a lot of you mentioned stream to see and one of our viewers is actually good friends with someone who works at stream to see and we're looking at possibly getting some samples to try of their sunscreen and something else I want to mention that I stumbled across online and I need to research it a little more because you know everything's online nowadays but I read an article about how the FDA is kind of asking for more data and more analysis to be done on the active ingredients in sunscreen and the only two that they actually say is safe are zinc di zinc oxide and titanium dioxide so she uses zinc and I know stream to see uses titanium dioxide I believe so just something to keep in mind I think it's good that the FDA is looking at this for our own health but also for the health of reefs it's good to use sunscreens that are either zinc oxide based or titanium dioxide based so we made it out to the reef I'm in the dinghy right now we found a nice sandy spot to anchor the boat and I'm gonna go dive the anchor just to make sure it's all good it's not on a rock it's nice and set and then we'll start getting ready to start free diving and do some spearfishing
All right. Now that we know they're there, let's get the dinghy. We'll put it right That's there. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> We're taking a little bit of a breather. Definitely found some lobster, which is good. I uh, found a good amount of shorts. Yes. But we do have two so far that are of length. Take a look. So both of those are kind of just barely legal, but, but they, they are, are legal. legal. I actually saw some of the smallest lobster that I've ever seen. There was one that came out at one point that was like this big. So that was kind of interesting. Kind of just using the dinghy as a platform to lobster right now. The boat is anchored over there. Uh, not too far away, but you know, we're just keeping an eye on it. It's anchored real well. But yeah, we're gonna move around, find some new spots. It's great exercise. We're having a lot of fun. Yeah. So, I uh, hope you guys are having fun watching it. So that's all she wrote for lobster today. We had a good time looking around. I think next time we come out here, we're gonna use the dinghy and the motor and like use the dinghy to, to travel around probably more. We, we're already tired, so we don't wanna continue on. So we need to clean the bottom of the boat. So we got, yeah. I forgot about that. We've got uh, two lobster, so we're, we're happy with that. It was kind of funny. I guess we got pretty lucky uh, right off the bat because we found the hole right off the bat. And then we found another hole. We basically only found two pretty good holes. And then after we caught the two lobster, there was only one that was of size in each hole. Um, you know, after we got those two lobster, we kept looking because we kept thinking we we're gonna get, we we're gonna find we're gonna some find more. more. And we probably spent another hour or two. Probably <laughs> just, two. Just trying to find more and we didn't get any. So we're happy. We got two lobsters. That'll be a good dinner tonight. Let's go clean the bottom of the boat and then we'll head in. Alrighty guys, we're back and the two lobster we got are ready to be boiled now. So unfortunately, a lot of people when they catch lobster, they just rip the tail off and just discard the carapace. There's actually a lot of really good meat that you can find in the legs, the antenna, and other parts of the lobster too. So we're trying not to waste anything whenever we catch a fish, a lobster, whatever it is. So let's get cooking these whole lobster. I did go ahead and make sure they were dead by taking a knife and just, you know, plunging it behind their eyes. and making sure they're dead so they're not going to be boiled alive at least. I think that's a little more humane. One thing I wanted to quickly mention is what we're doing here is perfectly okay. I double checked with FWC because you're not technically supposed to be cleaning lobster while you're aboard a boat. You're supposed to wait till you get to land to do that. Now there is one exception to this rule and that is if you are a live aboard cruiser like us, someone that's staying on their boat overnight actually, and you're not actively fishing, you're allowed to clean the lobster for that night for immediate consumption and that's it. about done to me. These guys are now done. They've changed color and they've been in the boiling water for a while now. Now I'm using that same water that we used to cook them. We're going to be using that to cook some good old Velveeta shells and cheese. 
while Jordan's cooking the pasta, I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling the legs and other pieces of the lobster so that we can kind of gather all the meat. But you can see in just like a little knuckle, there's a good amount of meat. In even the very ends, there's meat. So you just take your time about it and you can collect a good amount even from the legs and things like that. Oh, there's meat. As little goes to waste as possible. Yes. All right, guys. So what you see here, this is all the shell, the non-edible parts. The only thing that's still left that's kind of edible in this little pile right here is the brains. And some people eat those. We are not eating those tonight. But this right here is all the meat that came from those two lobsters that was not part of the tails. So this came from everything else, the legs, the head, uh, the, the antennas. There's a lot of meat in lobster. I mean, that's probably another tail to another tail and a half of meat when most people would just have thrown that out. We have two tails plus all that now, and we're going to be making lobster mac and cheese with this. These two tails we're going to be eating separate with a little bit of garlic butter. The best thing about this extra meat right here, tastes like lobster. Go for it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff. Hit that subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And if you want to know, oh my as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And if you want to know each and every time we upload a video, hit that notification bell. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And